the album is called Truth Be Told. Without a silver because the album does feel a little more honest and sort of the bullshit we've put out. Three sex now, Thomas. No! It's quite sincere and straightforward. Not a lot of Um, we recorded at Link in Lincolnshire, a studio called The Chapel. We mixed at Sanctuary, formerly known as Gnomus, and someone's just ringing me up. It was alright for a while, but then just seeing no one else for ages it was a bit odd. Kind of like talking to the animals like you do. That's all we're doing with the animals. Uh, what's happened to Shed 7 since the last album? Quite a lot really. Lost a record deal, uh, lost a guitarist, got a guitarist and a keyboard player and a record deal. Uh, it's really good fun. It was great. Uh, especially at the start it was all it was bigger than anything I've done before really. So yeah, I really enjoyed it. It was kind of like being thrown at the deep end a little bit, but um, I rose to the challenge. I spoke to Alan on the phone, Tom asked me Christmas last year, no, a year before even, but uh, he was so pissed the next day he'd forgotten. So I just had a bit of time to think about it a couple of weeks and then leech into answer from the phone. We signed to R4 Records, which is like a, a smaller indie label, which on hindsight is perhaps what we should have done in the first place. So uh, that indie ethics, the feel to it's back, I mean, it's like back to roots, so to speak. Um, well, again, that goes back to our, how we write stuff. It's just we just write. We don't sit down and think, "Oh, let's write a song like this." We just write a song, and then it becomes that. It's me, Joe Fraser, kind of like getting the ball rolling. Uh, they'll come with some chords, and I'll put a melody over it, and then spend the time at home or wherever I'm writing words, and then we'll all get together and bash it into some. And all your hopes and um, I was hoping um, that it would just lend it a slightly less poppy sound and we're trying to gear away a bit from disco downs and bully boys and trying to we'd let one creep in which was lovely because um, which was a bit probably a bit too poppy for its own Been thinking all along, maybe I'm not that strong We didn't set out to to write in a certain way. And I think that shows on the album because each song has a little different quality to it. They're not all similar sounding to the point where it's pretty old. That's too much like that. Step inside your life. I think I'm here to stay. I think anyone again who's a fan of ours shouldn't be too concerned with having new numbers because it's still very shed seven. Recording the album 
and it's been really good fun just because it's new line and it just feels like a fresh thing and it was good going off into the middle of nowhere and sort of feeling like a little gang and everything like that and that was cool and then um, yeah we just got a bit stuck we don't even have a laugh <laughs> <laughs> Can we just see you? Just show us your face. <laughs> Let's have a look. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> experience. I certainly drank more beer than I was expecting to when we were doing it. It's going to be bust. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. no. <laughs> it's all in. Italian themes, right, this week, in honour of the birthday boy. Oh yeah. Was that his request then? No, no, he gets what he's given. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's been that much better. When we all went, we went away for the first like five week session, four or five week session. We'd all been there. We hadn't had a day off, and none of us wanted to come home. Whereas a day and a half with the old lineup, and someone had had a row about something about a sandwich or something, you know. Whereas they just want one disagreement in five weeks. <laughs>